the real fascination is the extraordinary and unique machinery underneath the stage, geared to produce any number of marvellous effects with a series of traps, and they're all in working order. Here's how the three basic traps at the front of the stage work. Well, this is the grave trap at the front centre of the stage, and it actually takes quite a team of people to operate all this machinery. And indeed, below me now are four blokes ready to take me down into the grave. The theatre staff have agreed to do a few demonstrations for me, and a whole team has arrived to put the traps through their paces. Well, when all the traps are working, the effect is really quite spectacular. And we're going to stage for you now a special event with four of the traps working from the back of the stage. We're going to see reeds rising up out of the depths, followed by some dancers. The shutters and platforms are made ready, and dancers from the Christine Wilde Theatre School take their positions for a bit of theatrical magic. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. I just love all these stage effects. But those traps are by no means everything that this stage can do. Well, the most spectacular trap of all was the Corsican trap, which was named after a play, The Corsican Brothers, written in the mid-1850s. Now, I won't attempt to explain the plot because it's a complex Victorian melodrama. All you need to know is that it starred two brothers, two twins, one of whom was killed in a duel and who comes back to haunt the other. Now, when he reappears as a ghost, he doesn't come up on a conventional trap. He appears in the Corsican trap. And the way it worked was a roll-top piece of wood along the stage, just like this. And over there was a hole through which his head appeared. The whole stage rolls along, and he's on a little trolley underneath that gradually rises up, 
First of all, you see his head, and then his whole body is revealed until he gets to here. He can step off and touch his brother. It's a fantastic effect, especially when the lighting is right and there's mist, and it absolutely thrilled the audiences. Well, when the Corsican trap was invented in the beginning of the 19th century, dozens of theatres had it installed. But now, at the beginning of the 21st century, the only surviving one in the world is here in the Gaiety Theatre. And this amazing model shows us precisely how it worked. This shuttering is what we saw on the stage up above. And over there is the actor underneath the stage on the little platform waiting to appear. When the stage crew turned the great drum, his platform is pulled up, the shuttering moves along, and a miracle happens. Let's see. Well, before we actually demonstrate the trap, will you excuse me for just two seconds? <laughs> Ta-da! I thought I should put the actual costume on, because after all, I was killed by a sword in a duel, and this is real blood. Well, all this amazing machinery under here reminds me for all the world of an 18th century sailing ship with all its ropes and block and tackle. And to operate it all, you need a group of six fine, strong men. And that's exactly what I've got today. So let's go to it. Final preparations are made with the judicious use of a smoke machine, and I take my place on the platform, ready to be sent up to the stage above. Trap, stand by. Standing by. Trap, go. 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 Trap